economy is tight, jobs are hard to come by, people who are in jobs seem to be feeling a bit more pressure than usual and a little bit stretched, uh, and companies are grabbing at work that needs to be done. And sometimes as a manager, it feels as though you're on a tightrope when you want to ask somebody to go a little bit beyond what they normally would on a day-to-day -day basis to get a job done. Is there anything special that we can advise or recommend or an approach that can be used to actually negotiate these difficult waters? Well, Kathy, you know how much I like reading different managers, management books and management consultants. So two that I've looked at recently, um, Simon Sinek and Ian Mann, one of whom really focuses on why you need to do things on the golden circle of what, how, and why. And the other really talks about a whole lot of different components that make up managing and getting people engaged mm. easier and, and, and better. And that one of them is price, is what price is somebody paying to do something? Mm. And I think when you tell somebody, we've got a big project, you're going to have to work now for the next three weeks, there's no stopping. It's going to be evenings, it's going to be weekends. And you see less than enthusiasm from somebody who normally is quite excited to do a, a new project. You've got to understand, is the price of coming in and doing that project higher than that person's prepared to pay? So you need to ask the right questions so that you can sometimes change things around. Sometimes it's much less complicated than that. It's somebody, you need somebody to do something that's outside of their skill set. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to feel insecure because they can't deliver at the right level. So mm -hmm. understanding that, it's, it, I think managing people effectively is similar to problem solving. Mm -hmm. And you need to really sometimes say, what is the problem? Mm -hmm. What are the causes of that, those problems? And what are the various solutions where you were then able to sit down and offer different ways of doing the same thing, but often it really comes down to communication and yeah. to digging into why somebody is less than enthusiastic when normally they would be. Mm. If somebody's never enthusiastic, then you've got a whole different <laughs> issue to, to, to work with. Yeah. So, so that makes sense. So communicate with them, mm. and then perhaps instead of having to come in at eight and leave at six, because they're dropping children off at school, you just say, right, well, let's make it nine till seven, and that works for them. You never know, and it is about finding different mm. different ways of attacking a simple problem. Yes. There are often multiple ways, and if you prepare to compromise, mm. and it's going to get you both in the right direction, then that's the way to work with it. The best way to do it.